Well, good morning, everybody, and and uh, like to welcome you and set some ground rules. Uh, there really aren't any. Uh, please feel free to ask questions as they come up. I don't view this as these questions as an interruption. And what's kind of neat for 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 a group like this is I get to enjoy it too. So you know, when you have a group of a thousand people or a couple of hundred people, you don't get a chance to to actually talk or communicate. So I'm hoping the monologue becomes a dialogue as the day progresses. If I use a phrase or a word that sounds weird or unusual, um, stop me and say, what, what did you just say? I grew up in Toronto drinking pop. I moved to Boston, everything is a soda. And then I work in Atlanta, everything is a Coke, even if it's a Sprite. <laughs> and so uh, language, in, in our industry varies from region to region. I lived and worked in Chicago. It took me a while to figure out that baby tins were step flashing. And when I'm in Carolina, um, mastic is called pookie. You know, you want to pookie that. Now, South Florida, they have never heard of pookie. They call it bull. You're going to bull that. So when you're dealing with mechanical engineers, they deal with uh, equilibrium relative humidity for moisture content. A microbiologist deals with water activity on a, on a surface, and a wood scientist deals with moisture content by weight. They're all the same concept, more or less. It's just that we, depending on where you're coming from, the language is slightly different, as well as the biases. So if you've not heard something before, stop and say, well, what are you talking about? What did you just, what did you just say? This makes no sense. And I'm going to, OK, well, here's, here's where it is. Also. A lot of things, the, the history of where things come from is kind of important because a lot of times we do things today that seemingly make no sense except they did make sense 30, 40, 50 years ago and sometimes the story of how that all started. Uh, one of them is how come there's a two inch airspace behind uh, commercial brick veneers and there's a one inch airspace behind residential brick veneers and I'm not going to tell you right now because it's too crazy of a story, you're not going to believe it yet. But it's also the explanation of why commercial buildings with windows, the windows are not flanged, but residential windows are flanged. So it all relates to the two inch space and you say, what are you talking about? Well, that's part of the mystery. And then when you know the story, late at night, bartenders will be impressed with the story. Because <laughs> certainly your clients won't be, but a bartender will be.